They believe yesterday's triple shooting has a gang connection. This morning, Tulsa police have yet to make any arrests. Two Works For You reporter Patricia Santos is live now with a closer look at how police are tackling that gang problem. Patricia. Yeah, Tulsa police tell us at least two of the three people involved in this that were heard to have some type of ties to gangs. Now, they also tell me that Tuesday's shooting may be connected to an ongoing dispute involving gang members. I know the police say that uh, those that are shot are not certified gang members but have links to them. Now, the gang unit is also looking at other people involved who are in gangs and have court cases that are pending. We do know there were some other shooting incidents that were happening over the weekend. Um, not necessarily where people were shot, but houses that were shot up, people that were shot at, um, that are all associated with criminal street gangs. We think the incident that happened last night is con connected to those as well. Now, the special unit monitors gang activity thanks to a federal grant that allows the 15 special officers to work long hours and into the weekend. Right now, they're gearing up for the increase in crime that we usually see around the summertime. Just ahead, we're going to talk, uh, take a look at the success rate that they've had over the last couple of years. We're also going to tell you how the district attorney's office and the community is helping to get rid of gangs in the Tulsa area. Live at near downtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.